Here is another board game that I managed to buy on Spot, a UK buying and selling app, Totopoly. Welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to this vloggy vlog vlog. This vlog of today, 17th of May, Sunday at 12.37. Just thought I'd bring you along and share with you what I'm up to this afternoon, evening time. So basically you've got three items that sold on Friday. One sold today. Got to pack them to send on Monday. I send them Monday because I have a cut-off point on Friday, uh, usually 2pm, anything that sells after 2pm, it goes on Monday. Obviously, because what the situation is, I don't want to go to the post office too many times. Easier for me as well. Uh, I might later on go for a little walk, once it's all sorted out. Got to get some clothing listings done. I re-photographed a whole load of clothing items the other day. Got to get them listed. But as we know, a lot of things are selling on most people's stores. Computer games, board games, um puzzles for example and you think right what's selling on my store that sort of thing is selling good have I got that sort of stuff left or can I source it and then you gotta think about right people are going for wall keys or exercise right clothing items need to be put on your store so get it done if you hate it get it done so I'll share with you what I'm up to but later I was browsing through Spock buying and selling app in the UK and I came across this game Scarface the world is yours but okay I know I can sell the game because I sold one on Friday um, Friday the 15th for £15 plus postage I think it was by Sierra and they were offering £2 I put a um, best offer £1.50 and they accepted plus the postage comes to around just over £3 so not too bad for that one, happy with that. These are four items that sold since Friday the 15th. First one is J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings board game. All complete. Sold for £15.80 plus £4.20 postage on offer. Sold via promoting my listings. Scarface PS2 game. Got for £1.99 or a pound something. £15 plus £3.20 postage going GSP to... Germany global shipping program people are going out now to golf courses get your golfing gear on eBay ping PING men's golf trousers picked up at one of the local jumbles sold for £17 plus £3.20 postage going UK the tripod I took an offer it was up for about 17 I think originally took an offer for £14 actually I think it was a send off to watch I come to think of it anyway go and collect plus so it's not far from me not too bad one two, three, four, make the sails rain down. These here are multi-grain hooplas, a better version of Cheerios, same sort of thing, but these are cheaper. They're lovely, if you can get these where you are, best to have these. So I was watching this channel, Tubes Golf Life, a guy called Tubes from Cobham, who is not far from me, I think he lives in Cobham or near Cobham. He is on the programme Soccer um, AM, if you, if you know that programme, let me know in the comments below, or if you Sub to his channel, let me know in the comments below. Basically, on, on this channel, he goes to golf courses with like mainly footballers and stuff, doing rounds of golf and then diff different challenges. And then he sometimes goes around different stadiums and uh, vlogs with people doing football challenges. It's, it's a great channel. He's just recently come back after two months of being at home. It's a great channel, do check it out. Right, going to pack these golfing trousers, men's ping golfing trousers. With the speed of simple nine times out of ten the clothing items are easy to pack to list they're a pain but to pack they use it easy this is the next one Scarface the world is yours gonna be done going GSP to Germany we 
This is now packed for Scarface game, um, PS2, going GSP via Germany. So you get the pack and slip from eBay f on your order uh, when it's going GSP, because GSP is in Litchfield um, in the UK. That's your GSP centre. So you, you send it however you want it. So it's going Royal Mail all the way to Litchfield, and then it goes through there and then out. So you pay for it on the eBay site, um, so you can get the tracking automatic so it's pretty simple to, to do so what I've decided to do is not go out um, on a little walk is I'm going to sit outside in the garden for a bit show you around the garden sit outside in the garden and relax for half hour almost finished my parcels and that um, quite a few to go in different places then I've got the dubious task of listing clothing boo oh well if it sells it sells here is another board game that I managed to buy on Spock, a UK buying and selling app, Totopoly, a horse racing type game. I managed to get it for £7. Yes, it says 5 there, but I managed to get from 5 to 3 and then the postage, because again it's shipped here. They go for around £34.99 on eBay. So happy with that. For around 9 10 weeks, since um, charity shops have been closed I've been able to source some good stuff I don't mind paying up ever so slightly it delivered via having posted on top as long as I know I can make at least double all fees put together which most of my items I have it's probably been one I think that I've failed on but most of them 95% have been really good um, items I've sourced off eBay, sniping, Spock, etc, etc. If you are looking for stock, then try Facebook, Marketplace, Spock, Gumtree, um, eBay, sniping, um, friends, family, etc. It's now 20 past four, gonna sit outside and get the last rays of the sun. While, while I watch a YouTube video or two. I thought I'd relax after all the paperwork and the parcels have been done. It's now 26 minutes past 5, just finished on the outside to do some listing before dinner. That's what I like about Sundays, you can either use Sundays to do your parcels or just relax because the rest of the week is a madhouse, literally a madhouse. How is that for a pain in the bum where you list an item of clothing, whether it's a t-shirt, a shirt, a pair of trousers, and some person doesn't want to buy the item, but wants to be pernickety, kind of point out mistakes. Well, not, not just mistakes, but point out, it's, it's mainly your measurements. I'm going to measure this right, especially on shirts and t-shirts. I'm like, well, hello, I've measured it right. Shirts and t-shirts come up different sizes, whether they're small, medium, large. Even the small, medium or large t-shirts are different sizes. Anyway, because you get a large one. Uh, and it looks medium or looks small, but you get a medium it looks large. Weird, even they put the measurements in. This is Nick and Andrew's Sunday night hangout. We're selling on eBay during lockdown. Sunday live hangout. Usually about 800 people overall watch and comment. It's quite crazy being a moderator on this channel. Um, you've got Lucy T, Welsh Wonder, Georgina Jill, 
Laura, James, Damien, DB, myself. Subscribe. Uh, and Mr. Dig Steals. It's almost showtime. There's a lot more people in now. 99, BCP, Daily Jesse, Daryl, Vinegar Jar, Scotty, etc. Be a lot more in a minute. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, was it? I don't know. Wow, yeah, 404 know. watching at the moment. The Quite hard to say hello to everyone. Hello! Do you want to tell you? Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a bit I use in my little vlogs, mm. which is just free iTunes music that I happen to like. Yeah, I don't think there's ever one specific thing that we use for every video, though, is there? I have been recently. Oh, right, okay. Shopping in charity shops will be difficult, small shops, queues outside. Wow, almost 500 people watching. Keep it up, like the videos, like this video as well. And just went. Car boots may be the way to go, but then, you know. Where do they go? Shopping in charity shops will be difficult, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching this vlog. Let me know in the comments below what you liked about the vlog, disliked, and what you've been doing on the Sunday the 17th of May. Like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you next one. See you later guys. Take care.